Hello, my name is Pauline Banza. I'm a graduate legal intern with Olisa Abakoba Legal. I work with the sports, entertainment, and technology department of the law firm, which is, in short is SIT. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experience about working with a Nigerian law firm, really studying Ugandan law or in the Ugandan legal framework. to know about Olisa Bakoba legal firm, a friend who works at Templars and he was referring me here because he knows the firm has specialty in sports law and that was the field that I really want to practice and so he sent me the website link, sent me Bibali Bakoba's LinkedIn link and then I went on and read about it. It was really pretty informative something that I really had interest in. And then I was like, I think I really need to apply to this firm. I wasn't really bothered about whether it's a Ugandan firm because I knew I wasn't going to, I, I don't know of any firm that has specialists in sports law in Uganda. So I was open to the idea of working with a Nigerian firm because they are there. So he sent me the link, I checked it out, and got information, went to Twitter, found out the firm, also checked out my current supervisor's um, profile and I was like, this is what I actually want, exactly what I want. And at that, at that time, we didn't, I didn't know how, I'd, I was just doing research about the firm because I, I was just told about it but among the several other firms because I think there were over 30 firms but it was only OLA that had the sports law specialty, which is also combined with entertainment and technology. But that's how I got to know about it. How I got here is that, that's a very interesting story. So it's not long though. So the whole thing is, after I received that, I think I found an email, yes. So while I was planning to apply here, I was having other firms, other top firms in Nigeria that I was applying to, but none of them really had that much specialty of sports law. So I was still looking for a way to apply because I was in Nigeria at that point and I needed to apply to make sure that I get accepted, find a way to get in, get the experience and learn. So I went to the website, I didn't find what I wanted because I wanted to apply to one of the partners at the firm or the managing partner or the human resource manager so i didn't find any then i was like this friend of mine that referred me i asked him should i um send a twitter message to this lady she's on twitter i found her he's like no try out linkedin i went to linkedin i am and on linkedin you could i couldn't message her because she hadn't yet connected with me, though I had sent her a connection message. Then I went on to search her profile and such and such. Then I found her um, her contact details, which had her email, and I'm like, whoa, thanks, cool. So I sent in my CV, sent in my application letter. After sending my application letter, but before I did that, I actually um, I sent a message, an email message to... Um, Olisa Abakoba and I was trying to like follow up with my application trying to inquire if I could apply that sort of thing but in the meantime I was waiting to apply so I finally go to send an email of my application and I got my response pretty very fast and my acceptance in very fast too so and that was about June 20 towards June 29th 28th and then when I was accepted, I started working towards the end of the month. Yeah. And it was good because, like, the whole thing was really good. The application wasn't so hard. That was the nice thing I liked about it. Also, the response was not something that you're waiting for, like you're applying for a visa to go to a certain country or something. So it was generally that way that I managed to come and work at Olisa Abakoba Lego. My experience so far is that um, I think my experience is really good compared to where I was working before. Um, 
while I was working before, um, it wasn't things I was really, really, really interested in in terms of practicing, though I was enhancing my IP knowledge and skills. And when I came here, it was, it, it, it just became a very great experience for me because as practice, I had no practice as um, interning with this department that I like and I prefer, which is sports, getting more knowledge about sports, like some things that I already don't know, I now know, getting exposure, getting to know how different jurisdictions um, run, because Nigeria is a federal republic, so its code structures are different from a republic um, country like Uganda, where I studied from and my first internship was. So the whole experience has been good. The associates are actually very welcoming, and it's interaction with them is good because I get to learn different things. My supervisor is actually um, very good. Um, I also met with um, Olisa Abakoba and, and it was a good good experience. Go to learn different things because, you know, we never stop learning. So, basically, what I would call my experience has been a very, very, very great experience because I didn't think I would have this great experience because normally working at a big law firm isn't something that everyone thinks they will have the best experience in terms of beyond work, the relationships you make with people, which will help you get exposure. Um, basically, I'd say it's pretty, pretty good. Been exposed to different things, learned different things, practicing what I actually want to do. And it's just a great experience for me so far so good and perfect. Um, well, the thing is, I think the, there's a, I think the way my experience so far, I feel like the, there's a little of some liberalism and professionalism in the Nigerian um, atmosphere. What I'm saying so is see how I'm dressed today and um, to work, I'm dressed in the shirts for our, our department and this is something I haven't seen at Uganda law firms because it's really strict and if you're working at a big law firm it's even more strict so I feel like it's a bit liberal which is a good thing you don't have to stress a lot because it's a Friday you're getting into a weekend you've been in suit and tie from the beginning of the week so basically, I think that's one of the things that I'll say. Also, any other thing I'd like to say is that, yes, I would really, really encourage people to chase their dreams and to also come and apply to Lisa Bakoba Legal because it's a great place to learn. That's the first thing, you get a lot of exposure, which is very important. And it has quite several areas of expertise, so it would be very good if, for example, if you're into maritime, if you're into space, um, space law, if you're into um, sports law like me, or entertainment or technology, it would be a very great thing if you applied here because the atmosphere is good, learning experience is good. Speaking of which, the people who came who applied, over 50 people have applied to join the law firm. So imagine how great that is. Yeah, basically, also chase your dreams. Yeah, thank you very much.